Welcome to Engine Classes YouTube channel. In this video, we'll consider an example on properties of system. Here, the system being considered is y of t is equal to x of 2t. The task is to determine is this system linear, time invariant, memoryless, causal, and stable. So, what we do is we'll start with the first one. The first very first property linearity so we'll test is this system linear or not to understand that first what we do is we'll try to understand the nature of the system so I'll consider the input x of t and I'll get the output as y of t which is equal to x of 2t so I'll consider the system operator h that is the nature of the system here what the system does is wherever it finds t it replaces with 2t so whatever you feed in the input x of t z of t whatever it is so it replaces t in that with 2t and gets you the output so that is the nature of the system so with that so we'll start first with the property linearity for this i need at least two inputs so i'll call them as x1 of t and x2 of t so first I'll scale these inputs by the scaling factors A1 and A2 then I'll add them up and I'll give it I'll give this input to a system of operator H so that I'll get the output Y1 of T so this time I'll call it as Y1 of T so what, what do I get here so I said the nature of the system is wherever it finds T it replaces that with 2T so therefore A1 is a constant it, it retains this as it is so x1 of t here it is so it, it gives x1 of 2t plus a2 is a constant it keeps it as it is so here I'm getting x2 of t so that should be replaced with x2 of 2t so this is what I'm getting in the first half of the linearity so next I'll consider the input x1 of t so I'll give this input to a system first of operator h so that I'll get the output I'll call this as y dash of t so what do I get now so I'll get it as x1 of 2t so after this I need to scale it so I need to scale it by a factor a1 so that I'll get a1 x1 of 2t similarly I'll consider the second input as x2 of t so this I'll give it to a system of operator H so that I'll get the output as I call it as y double dash of t so what do I get now so input is x2 of t therefore I'll get x2 of 2t as the output so once I scale it by a factor of a2 I'll get it as a2 into x2 of 2t so the final output I have to add these two things so I'll call it as uh, y2 of t which is equal to y dash of t plus y double dash of t so if I add them up I'll get y2 of t as y dash of t which is a1 x1 of 2t plus a2 x2 of 2t so now I need to consider I need to compare the outputs y1 of t with y2 of t so I have to check whether these two outputs are equal so in this case by comparing I can say y1 of t is equal to y2 of t therefore I would say this system is linear it possesses the property of linearity so next I'll consider uh, for time invariance so that I shall write it over here time invariance so now I'll test this system for time invariance as the name itself says time invariance the output must be invariant to the time even though I vary the time the output should not change the behavior of the system should not change that's what time invariance means as per the definition a 
shift in the input whether it is a delay or advance a shift in the input must lead to an identical time shift in the output so that is the definition of time invariance for that what i do is i'll consider first the shift in the input so i said the input is x of t shift in the input means x of t minus t naught so i'll consider this as the input now i'll give it to a system of operator h so that i'll get the output y of t so what do i get now so x of t minus t naught is the input what is the output so i said the nature of the system is wherever the system finds t it replaces with 2t so therefore here i'll get x of 2t minus t naught as it is because i said uh, the system replaces t with 2t so everything else remain as it is so output y of t is equal to x of 2t minus t naught in the first half a shift in the input so now i'll consider a shift in the output for that i have to consider y of t minus t naught so what is what is y of t minus t naught is so for this i need not have to do anything so i'll simply consider the expression y of t is equal to x of 2t the given system so to get y of t minus t naught in this expression i need to replace every t with t minus t naught if i do that i'll get y of t minus t naught so if i do that so here x of 2 into bracket now i am finding t so i need to replace that with t minus t naught so if i simplify it further i would get x of 2t minus 2t not so this is what y of t minus t not a shift in the output so a system to be time invariant a shift in the input that is in the first case y of t must be equal to a shift in the output so i need to compare these two things whether they are equal or not so in this case as they are not equal i would say the given system is time variant it is not time invariant or else i mean i mean to say the given system is time variant so that is the second property so now while consider the third property that is memoryless so i would consider the third property i would test this system for memoryless so i'll check does this system possess any memory or not the given system is y of t is equal to x of 2t so if i want to define a system that possesses memory that means if the output at any given time depends on the input of past or the future values that that system possesses memory in other words in contrast to that if i say the system is memoryless that means the output at any given time depends on the input at that time only such systems are memoryless so this system if i say say for example i want to find the output at t equal to 1 so that means i would get y of 1 is equal to x of 2 into 1 it is x of 2 so y of 1 is the present output to find this i should know x of 2 that is the future input so here the output at any given time depends on the future input hence i would say the system is not memoryless or else it the system has memory so i can take another example so let me find the value of the output at t equal to minus 1 so let's see what do i get so it is y of minus 1 equal to x of minus 2 it is minus 2 into 1 is minus 2 so y of minus 1 is the current output to find this i should know the past input so in this case it is depending on the past input so hence i would say the system possesses memory moving on the next property is causality a system is said to be causal if the output at any given time depends on the present or the past values of the input but should never depend on the future values of the input that's what the causal system is so to put it in simple words uh, until and unless i give the input i cannot predict my output that's what causal system is 
So let me check that. So it, the system is y of t is equal to x of 2t. This is already being given. So to consider an example, let me find the value of the output at t equal to 1. So if I do that, output y of 1 is equal to x of 2. So the present value of the output as it depends on the future values of the input, I would say the system is clearly non-causal. So in this case, the system is non-causal as the output at any time depends on the future values of the input. Hence, the system is non-causal. And now I would consider the last property that is stability. So I would say that any system is BIBO stable. That means bounded input, bounded output stable if a bounded input produces a bounded output. In simple words, if I make the input finite, I must expect the output should also be finite. So for that what I do is I'll consider the input x of t. So I'll consider the magnitude of this. I'll make this less than or equal to mx which is less than infinity. That means I have made the input bounded. My input is finite. So what is my output now in this case? y of t is equal to magnitude of x of 2t. So because of the system I'm getting this. So this is also a finite number which is less than infinity. So hence I would say the given system is stable. I can make the input finite. Still it produces the output also finite. Hence I would say the system is stable. So if I go back and just brief it up. I have tested uh, the system y of t is equal to x of t for linearity and I got the answer as yes, the given system is linear. I have tested also for time invariance but I got the system to be time variant. And later I have tested it this for memoryless, I got this system as it possesses memory. It is not memoryless or it possesses memory. I have tested this for causality and I got this as non-causal as the output depends on the future value of the input. I have tested this for stability. Yes, I got the answer to be stable. So this is all about an example on properties of systems. Thanks for watching.